in the depths of the Chandler Aquatic Centre lies a new musical frontier, the boundaries of which are to be stretched by this, the Azosno. Uh, the instrument is a range of bells. It's a set of bells that are suspended. And uh, those bells are electronically uh, connected to the air to synthesizers. Composer Michel Rodolphe began producing underwater concerts in France 10 years ago at the invitation of the Brisbane Biennial, the world premiere of his Sonic Waters 3 will introduce Australia to what he says is a musical fourth dimension. This is something that you feel like fish. You know, fish are, uh, they don't listen. They feel the sound. To reproduce the sensory experience of fish, it takes a team of engineers, a dive support crew, and a pool heated to 31 degrees. For the uninitiated, it's hard to imagine just what to expect. I'm not sure, really. I mean, it's not the sort of normal thing you'd go and see every day. I think it'll remind me a lot of the calling of the whales. This is one concert you don't need to dust off the dinner suit or dry clean the glad rags. A swimsuit is essential. The only accessories you'll need are goggles and a snorkel, but there's just one thing you can't afford to fall asleep. What I want is that people are listening in a different way for the first time in their life, meaning when they will dive in the water, they are going to pick up the sound like they never heard before. The water conducts not only the sound, but also the vibrations of the bronze and metal bells as musician Alex Grillo strikes them at the bottom of the five metre pool. This is then mixed with electronic music produced by the above water synthesizer. And the synthesizer sound is piped in into the water. So what you hear is like a full orchestral sound, let's say a full symphony, just done by one performer on the water. It's going to be crisp, crystal-like. It's going to resonate in their inner body. And uh, there's uh, no such a thing on Earth. Although much goes into producing the actual musical score, Michel has found it becomes secondary to the overall experience for the listener, who becomes more of a participant as they soak in the sound. There is a clarity never before heard, and certainly never before felt. I found that you could actually feel the sound, not just through your ears, but through your entire skin. It was like a, almost like a body response. It's marvelous. Oh, much different, yeah. You can hear it all clearly. So um, when you're um, above water, you can't hear it as much as clearly. It felt quite soothing. It was almost like a musical massage. Yeah, I think it's something uh, which is on the border of experimentation, of uh, you know something out of this world, so to speak, where you you could be ten thousand meters under the sea, you could be uh, ten thousand leagues under the sea. You know that that's the sort of uh, atmosphere that uh, that you uh, that it is akin to. Michel Rodolphe delivers that extra dimension he sets out to create, taking a step back to the world of water to introduce a breakthrough to the future. You may can't tell if this is the music of the future, but the space for sure is a space of the future. <laughs>